And this time I want to share with you uh, a, little, a little project of data science, data analytics. With this uh, JupyterLab notebook, I'm trying to get the latest uh, Mars Curiosity rover photos using the open data policy of NASA. It's an open API to get uh, the information of the rover. I'm using uh, Python 3.7. And then we need some libraries, JSON library to manipulate JSON data uh, because the, the API is returning the information on JSON. Request to do the request to the API of NASA, image EO, manipulate that, uh, the photos, sky image also for manipulate uh, photos, pandas to do the information uh, capture and analysis matplotlib to display the photos seaborn uh, to make a small uh, graphic and daytime to, to do some uh, conversion between uh, strings and daytime uh, object to be able to organize by date the photos so we import uh, those uh, libraries then we need some defin definitions uh, API key we can use demo key this give us 30 requests per hour or uh, 50 requests uh, uh, 50 requests per day if we need more than that we can apply on NASA site to get a personalized API key the restriction with a personalized are 1000 requests uh, per day uh, AP URL uh, at this location we can uh, check for the latest uh, curiosity photos and uh, on this uh, AP URLM we can get something called the uh, mission uh, manifest then um, it's like a resume of all uh, the mission number of photos taken by date launch date nice information uh, a base date using Earth date because you know the rovers counts uh, the mission time or mission duration on souls but for me it's not a straightforward thinking in souls I prefer to think in uh, uh, Earth days so I'm using uh, Earth date and this command here is to get a better resolution on the graph on the graphics and on uh, on the plot of the c1 okay so we execute this uh, on this cell we have uh, the ap request so i'm going to run this take some time Okay, now I have to translate the response to the JSON and convert a uh, pandas data frame to do the analysis. Okay, so this is the manifest of the mission. We have a uh, landing date, launch date, the maximum uh, date of the rover, Sol, name of the mission, and in here in photos is the information for the total of photos per day status active and the number of total photos 437,150 a lot of photos now I want to, to take a look to this GR mission uh, statical uh, information about the photos so I'm using here this date uh, I, I do a slice of the data frame I want only the information pertaining to this year so I extract the photos and I only get from this year on and then I request to sort by date uh, this is the translation uh, from a string to object uh, data time object Now I have my data frame with all the photos per, de per date. So we see, we can clearly see that at 9 of August, uh, the rover took 34 photos. 8 of August, only 4. 
7 of August 393 so maybe here they are uh, looking for uh, information and here planning the mission science mission and here maybe they are executing that science mission I want to check how is the rover doing how busy has been uh, on this year so with this uh, cell we, we are trying to plot uh, number of photos per, per date so we have we have here a busy day 1200 photos and usually we are having like 400 we can do an average or a standard deviation or we can do with this information so we can see here clearly that uh, planning execution now that I want a, a specific data or date to check I put the date I want to check and I do the request to the photo AP URL this one and then we do the same we convert the response to a data frame pandas data frame with the information about the photos to do the to be able to retrieve retrieve the photos so we can uh, in this loop we start to retrieve the photos uh, maybe if you need uh, more speed you can uh, use a multi threading routines of python according of the number of uh, CPUs that the computer have, you can uh, make three of, or four or eight or seven uh, threads to be able to dis the download, the download the photos on parallel. But for here, this is the most easy way to do it for me. So one by one, and here we are uh, downloading the photos. We can see here is the chimp cam photos. So that, that is all for today. I only want to share uh, a little uh, project on data science uh, to feel like a scientist. <laughs>